Hello, hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel and welcome if you're new. Today, as you can probably tell, we're going to have a little bit of a different video. Actually, it's going to be full on pronunciation practice, something that I've never done before. But let me tell you, today I got really inspired because I'm in, a, in the process of creating this pronunciation transformational course for you. And I got inspired and I was like, I need to film this practice because I know that in just 15 minutes, you're going to see improvements, my friends, I promise you. So if you're someone who ever felt like you need to repeat yourself because you were being misunderstood by a native speaker or by anybody else, then my friend, this video is for you. I want you to stick until the end. Or if you just feel like you don't like the way you sound, you don't have clear pronunciation, again, I want you to stay until the end. As I said in the beginning, I just want to go straight into the practice part, but let me just give you a heads up. This video is something that you should be doing on a daily basis, or if you can't, if you're too busy, maybe two or three times per week. And trust me, you are going to see how much clarity you gain in your speech after doing this practice. I'm going to be over here and we're going to see the presentation that I've prepared. So let me just give you a quick heads up of what we're going to be doing actually today. I just want to say that mastering pronunciation is more than just having that native like accent or perfect accent, but if you master pronunciation, you are going to be able to make real connections. No matter if these connections are with native speakers or non-native speakers, this is the freedom that you're going to get with pronunciation because it's about being heard and being understood by others, but also it's about understanding others. So in this video, we're not going to be talking about the benefits of having clear pronunciation because I think that you probably know that already, but my friends, we are going to have pronunciation practice. But before we begin, I want to tell you two things. Listen to me very carefully. The first thing is to ask you actually to please subscribe to my channel because this will motivate me to make more of these videos and I'm sure you're going to love this video. And the second thing is super, super important, which is if you're really serious about improving your pronunciation in the next 15 minutes, I want you to turn off all distractions. Meaning if you have your laptop, your phone or something else distracting you next to you, please turn it off. Be with me for this entire video. Be focused with me, fully with me. I need you to do this. You'll see what I'm talking about later. If you are eating at the moment, please finish your food and then come back to this video. Again, trust me on this. Um, and if you have your kids running around all over you, if you can, it will be really good to find a quiet place and just Put on some headphones or not if you're in a quiet place and just be with me. Trust me, your mouth muscles and your pronunciation will be thankful to you. All right, ready? Three, two, one. If you need some time, pause this video. Let's begin. Okay, the first thing that we're starting with is a warm up. We want to warm up our mouth, our mouth muscles. And also something that is crucial and not a lot of people talk about is we need to relax. Okay. When we relax, when we feel comfortable, only then we can progress in our pronunciation because most of the time, all of the mistakes that I see students make, they put a lot of tension in their mouth and they're under some, they put their mouth under some sort of stress and it's difficult to pronounce. So in order to be able to make this practice, we need to relax. So what we're going to do is um, deep breaths in and out, and we're going to exhale with the sound S. And we're going to do this for five times. Okay, let's begin. Deep breath in, S. S. 
All right, we're very good. Deep breath in, and we go with Okay, one more time. You should feel your body relaxing. Okay, one more time. That was good, right? Okay, if you need more time, please do this for five times. All right, now we continue with vowels and our articulation drills. Okay, now first, let us repeat ourselves. If somebody has forgotten, or maybe you're a beginner, you don't really know, the vowels in English are a, a, e, e, i, i, o, o, a. Ah, now the last one may confuse you, but it's uh, spelled like you, but it's pronounced as ah, ah. All right, now let's see uh, each one uh, separately. We're going to start with ah, 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 ah. I want you to open your mouth widely and produce the sound ah. Not ah, but ah, 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 and, and, ah. Apple, a ah, apple, a ah, airplane, a ah, airplane, a ah, ant, apple, airplane. All right, we're moving on with e, eh, e, eh, e. Eh. I want you to widely open, stretch your mouth, and produce the sound e, eh, e, eh, e, eh, e, eh. e. Egg, elephant, elf, e, eh, egg, e, eh, elephant, e, eh, elf, e. Eh, Egg, eh, elephant, eh, elf. All right, good. Do it with me as I do it. You do it with me. Moving on with e, 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 e. Your mouth is again wide open, and you're producing the sound e, e, e. Your tongue is relaxed, like this. E, 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 in, insect, ink, e, in, e. Insect, e, ink, e, in, e, insect, e, ink. All right, moving on with o, oh. o, oh, o. Oh. You're rounding your mouth like an o, oh. o, oh, off, o, oh, on, o, oh, operate, o, oh, off, o, oh, on, o, oh, operate. Perfect. And we are moving on with a, uh. a. Uh. Again, you see it as a U, it's spelled like U, however, we pronounce it as a, uh, us, a, uh, umbrella, a, uh, under, a, uh, us, a, uh, umbrella, a, uh, under. All right, that was good, that was good, perfect. Um, now we're going to move on with our consonants, and I've chosen some of the most difficult ones. So, here's what we're going to do. You see the TH, the F, and the S, we're going to try and pronounce them together. These are silent. What you do is actually you push the air out of your mouth. Love that. Wonderful. Let's move on with the next uh, set we have. We have Love that, love that, love that. Now let's see the voice ones. T, D, V, T, D, V, 
t d z t d z t d z t d z you see that for the first two for the t and the d our tongue is in our mouth and it's touching our upper gums t d t d t d however for the th for the voiced th we have our tongue is between our teeth and is producing a vibration t d z t d z t d z t d z t d z wonderful wonderful let's see the next set p b v p b v p b v p b v v p b v p b v p b v wonderful wonderful okay now we're going to continue with minimal pairs we're going to see u as in put versus u as in pool put pool put pool and we're going to see the first minimal pair that we have is look 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 can you closely watch my mouth look 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 over there there's luke look over there there's luke look 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 luke perfect let's see another one um we have full fool 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 there's a full moon he's such a fool there's a full moon he's such a fool full fool full fool full fool full fool all right i like where you're going with this um i hope you're practicing with me let's see the next one could cooled 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 could you go my food is cooled down my food is cooled down could you go my food is cooled down could cooled could cooled okay now i want you to shadow these sentences after me first we're going to go slowly and then we're going to increase the speed first listen to my speech and then shadow after me okay let's go could you look at that full moon could you look at that full moon your turn that's right could you look at that full moon could you look at that full moon perfect all right let's see the next one it's not a good idea to book a room so soon one more time it's not a good idea to book a room so soon your turn it's not a good idea to book a room so soon okay that was perfect let's do uh, let's see the next one he took his foot off the fool's tool 
He took his foot off the full stool. He took his foot off the full stool. Okay, wonderful, wonderful. Let's continue with the a ah sound as in cat versus the ah sound as in car. So we have the a ah, a ah, a ah, as in cat, cat, a ah, cat, a ah, cat versus the ah, the long ah where you wide, widen your mouth just like I'm doing ah as in car, car. So we have cat, car, cat, car. So we have ah, 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 ah. Cat, car. All right, now let's see. Bat, bart, bat, bart, bat, bart, bat, bart, bat, bart. Do it faster. Bat, bart, bat, bart, bat, bart, bat, bart, bat, bart. All right, perfect. Let's see the next example. We have Matt Mart, Matt Mart, Matt Mart. Matt Mart, Matt Mart, Matt Mart, Matt Mart. Matt Mart, Matt Mart. Perfect. You're doing a great job. The next one is Pat Part, Pat Part, Pat Part, Pat Part, Pat Part, Pat Part. Perfect. And then we have Ham Harm. Ham harm, 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 ham harm. Mmm. I am noticing you. You may think, oh my gosh, my mouth feels stiff, and that is totally fine. I want you to be really serious about this. In the first couple of times. Probably your mouth muscles are gonna get stiff and you're gonna get tired, but stay with me. You need to do this more often so that you get used to it. Okay, let's see our next sentences. Again, shadow these sentences after me. Matt and Bart had a chat in the car. Matt and Bart had a chat in the car. Matt and Bard had a chat in the car. Perfect, perfect. Let's see a tongue twister. Please, guys, let's have some fun with this, okay? Now, let's see the tongue twister. I'm going to say it slowly and then faster. You do the same after me. All right. Alice asks for apples and avocados at Andy's. 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 Okay, your turn. I really hope you're having fun with this. This is the point of tongue twisters. Okay, if you need more time, just pause the video, say it out loud. I am going to continue with the final sentence, and that is Mark packed a large black bag in the back of his car. Mark packed a large black bag in the back of his car. Your turn. Okay, I love what I am seeing. I love what I'm hearing. If you're still with me, congratulations. All right, now let's move on with the TH sounds, the voiced and the voiceless. Um, some of the sounds that I get most questions for, um, these are, this, this is the sound that most people struggle with. And today I'm going to try to uh, improve this for you. Okay, let's see first the unvoiced TH, which is we had it. Uh, we had a little bit of practice in the beginning. Okay, we have thin, and then the voiced is then, thin, then, thin, then, 
thin then, th thin th then, thin 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 then. Come on, do it with me. Thin then, thin then, thin then, thin then. Mm-hmm. You need more? Thin then. 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 Okay. Let's see the next one. Bath. Bathe. Bath. Bathe. Bath, bath, bathe, 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 bath, bathe. Do it with me. Bath, bathe, bath, bathe. Okay? Okay? Whoo! This is getting really, really interesting, at least for me. Hopefully, that's interesting to you as well. Okay, we, we are continuing with, continuing with teeth, 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 teeth. teeth 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 all right that's good that's good we are absolutely making progress now let's see ether 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 either ether either ether either Ether either, ether either, ether either, ether either, ether either, ether either, ether either. Okay, love that. Love that. Now we're moving on with our sentences. Now again, shadow these after me. Breathe through your mouth. 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 Good, good, perfect. Let's see the next one. They breathe smoothly even though the air is thick with aroma. This is challenging. I got to tell you that. One more time. They breathe smoothly even though the air is thick with aroma. All right. You got this. You got this. Okay. The final sentence is, this other method of gathering feathers is better than that. And now I want to I want us to focus on the last two words. Then that. Then that. This is a common connected speech that that connects the two words. Then that. Then that. This other method of gathering feathers is better than that. Is better than that. Than that. Than that. Okay, one more time. This other method of gathering feathers is better than that. Your turn. Good. I love this. I love this. Let's continue with the, the third exercise for today, which is called chunking and linking. Something that I've mentioned before, we're going to practice connected speech. Okay. If you were to say this sentence slowly, it would sound something like this. Do you want to go with us. B 
But if we want to sound more natural and connected together, we're going to say, do you want to go with us? Do you want to go with us? Do you? Do you? Instead of do you. Do you, do you want to go with us? Do you want? No. Do you want to? Do you want to go with us? With us. With us. Do you want to go with us? Okay, practice with me. Do you want to go with us? Do you want to go with us? Perfect. Perfect. Let's see the next one. She can see it from her window. She can see it from her window. From her. From her. From her window. She can see it. See it. See it. She can see it from her window. Instead of pronouncing that H in her, we're going to omit it. From her. From her. She can see it from her window. She can see it from her window. See it and see it. See it from her window. She can see it from her window. Practice with me different pitches. She can see it from her window. 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 Wow. Add some emotion into your speech so that it becomes more natural when you say it. She can see it from her window. Okay, I hope this was funny and interesting to you. And let's see one more. Where has he been all day? Where has he been all day? Where has he been all day? Here, that H in has, we're not going to pronounce it. We're going to connect it. Where has? Where has he been all day? Where has he been? Of course, you can say it, but you need to be really careful to not go like this. Where has he been all day? Where has he been? Or, where has he been all day? Where has? Where has he been all day? Again, different pitches. Pitches. Where has he been all day? Where has he been all day? Where has he been all day? Okay. Perfect. And the final practice, your teacher is getting confused here. <laughs> okay. The final practice is word stress, something that is really important. And um, we're going to see one sentence that has different meanings depending on where you put the stress in the sentence, which is really important. And that's why we need to really, really, really pay attention to stressing the right words if we want to be understood by others. So, the, the sentence is, I never said she stole my money. Okay. Now, we're going to be putting the stress on different words and see how that changes the meaning. I never said she stole my money. I never said she stole my money. So, when I'm emphasizing I, it means someone else said it, not me. I never said she stole my money. Now, let's see the, if we emphasize the word never. I never said she stole my money. I never said she stole my money. Meaning, I'm denying that I have ever made that statement. I never said she stole my money. Please try to shadow the same way as I say it. Okay? Even if it sounds um, cringy or... If you don't sound comfortable, just do it as I do it, okay? I never, 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 never said she stole my money, meaning I'm denying. Okay, let's see the next word. If we emphasize, if we stress the word said, I never said she stole my money. I never said she stole my money. I might have thought about it. Maybe I was thinking about it, but I never said it. So, I never said she stole my money. You see how much it changes. Let's see if we emphasize the word she. I never said she stole my money. 
Maybe it was a he. Maybe my friend stole the money or maybe my boyfriend stole the money. But I never said she stole my money. I never said she stole my money. Go ahead. It's your turn. Okay. Love that. Let's see what happens if we emphasize the word stole. I never said she stole my money. I never said she stole my money. Maybe she took the money and she borrowed them. Maybe she asked me to borrow the money, right? But she did not steal the money. I never said she stole the money. Maybe she took the money in her hands, but she never stole them. So I never said she stole my money. Okay, let's see if what happens if we're going to stress my. I never said she stole my money. I never said she stole my money. So this means I am saying that she didn't steal my money. She stole maybe my mother's money or my father's money, my boyfriend's money. She didn't steal my money. I never said she stole my money. Okay, and finally, what's going to happen if we emphasize the word money? I never said she stole my money. I never said she stole my money. Meaning, maybe she stole something else. Maybe she stole my glasses. But I never said she stole my money. She stole my phone, but she never stole my money. All right. I really hope if you're still here, I bet I am super confident that you have improved, that something changed in your pronunciation, that you've learned something new. Please let me know in the comments how was it. And please, guys, come back to this practice frequently. Trust me, it is going to help you a lot. And if you want me to make more videos like this, uh, if you like this format with a presentation with me here down there on the camera, please let me know. And again, subscribe to my channel if this is something that you want to see, if you want to learn English with me. And um, also write in the comments your most challenging sound in English. And maybe, just maybe, I'm going to film a video for it. Um, in the end, if you've liked this video, go ahead and check out my other pronunciation videos. I have tons of them. And I'll see you in the next one. I wish you a beautiful day or night ahead. Until the next video, stay zen, and I'll see you then. Bye.